Welcome to Goofy Central. This is a show where we talk about topics that either don't make sense or need to be addressed, or just green or red level goofy. I'm your host, Marvin Dixon. And I'm your executive producer, Crevante Hurt. There's a thin line between goofy and great. Hopefully, you're not on the wrong end of it. Get it together. We call the captain of the goofy ship. Why? Um, I'm the voice of reason here. Huh? That's the voice of you, my turn, because I didn't want to cut you off because I'm trying to talk. Back again, guiding you through the goofiness. It's Goofy Central yet again. And Gravante, like we say every show, tell the people what you say. There's a thin line between goofy and great. <laughs> Let's see who's on the wrong end this episode. Oh, we never run out of topics here on Goofy Central. Oh, come on now. And as they always yeah. say, no one circles the wagon of goofiness yeah. like the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> That's what you're giving me? The Buffalo Bills? Uh, yeah, that is what I'm giving you. So... I, I shouldn't have to say too much more, really. I mean, when it comes to the Buffalo Bills, I mean, they've had quite a few, you know, outstanding superstars. We got the Bruce Smiths. I mean, getting 200 sacks. We have, um, is this is this the taboo name, O.J. Simpson? Is that you is know, that still a taboo name? I mean, I already said it, but, you know. A lot of our viewers may or may not know O.J. from playing football. I think <laughs> they may know him from I didn't know him football, maybe carrying a knife. But anyway, so <laughs> I'm just saying. A lot of people don't know he played football. I was a Hall of Fame running back. Yeah. Two thousand yards in a fourteen game season. Pretty not good. Big pretty 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 good. I mean we have uh, Jim Kelly. How many Super Bowls was was he in? Four. How many did he win? None. Oh here we he go. Here we go. Four of them? Four. They were back to back, weren't they? So they what won the four straight AFC championships, 1990 before I was born for all intents and purposes, through 1993, the year I was born. So four straight AFC championships, four straight Super Bowls, and like Ravante said, didn't win none of them. And you know what's something else that's goofy? In all four of those Super Bowls, they lost to the same division, the NFC East. Something you know a little bit about? <laughs> I know, I know, I, I know a thing. I know a thing or two. They lost to um, the Giants, lost to the Redskins, and lost to the Cowboys twice? Almost two times. I think one was a missed field goal, a couple missed field goals in there. I know for sure the Giants one was a missed field yeah, goal. Missed field and goals. I remember, um, gosh, I can't remember his name to save my life, the big guy who was uh, the big defendant. Um, can't remember his name to save my life, but... He was running down because he had a goofy moment for the Cowboys. Even though they still won, he had a goofy moment. And um, a player from the Bills came all the way down, ran him down, tracked him down, and made it a touchback. I thought I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. Even though the Cowboys still found a way to win. I thought that was hilarious. But that's nonetheless, that's what the Bills are. The Bills are goofies in American colors. They were founded in, on October 28th, 1959, so they'll be celebrating 60 years next year. Woo-woo. Four AFC championships, like I said, 1990 through 1993. AFC East champions, 1980, 1988, 1989, 1990, 1991, 1992, 1993, and 1995. And before last year, they hadn't made the playoffs since 1999. God, that's a drop-off. That's a huge drop-off. And if it wasn't for your boys, they shouldn't have even made the playoffs. Don't get me started on that, speaking of goofy. And I thought this was hilarious. Now, let us know if you knew this on Goofy Central, hashtag Goofy Central. They're the only team in the NFL that actually plays their home games in New York. <laughs> let that sink in. But it's not even New York, New York. Upstate New York. It's Niagara Falls. Like, <laughs> like exactly. it's basically kind of... Canada. It's Canada. So, do they really play in New York? I guess, technically, they do play in New York. Now, we talked about they play in New York only... Four straight Super Bowls, not winning one. It hurts. Now, would you take that opportunity for your team right now, saying four straight Super Bowls, but never winning one, or just waiting, waiting, waiting like the Lions are, maybe like the Browns, some of those teams, and not getting there at all, but hoping that maybe you can get there one day and win it? It's tough. It, it is, it's really tough to call because Sheesh. we all want to get as far as we possibly can, but the further you go... And you fail, it hurts. Like, I couldn't imagine. Like, how many Super Bowls have we been through? What, uh, we going on, what, 50? 50, 53 this year? I'm, Coming up? 
I couldn't imagine 52 teams going all the way and losing. Like, no matter how you lost, the closer it is, the harder it is to take. But just getting all the way, working all, working so hard through the offseason, the training camp, the first, the, the first 16 games, getting to the playoffs, and then just coming up short. Four times in a row. I don't know. I, I don't know. Now, that's not, uh, that's not a reason to fire anybody. Right. But that hurts, man. But I'd rather be more relevant than the teams like the Lions or the Bengals that haven't even sniffed. I mean, the Bengals sniffed a while back, but, you know, the Lions not even. Now, all those experiences, I guess, an experience now at the game. They recently had to stop and ban people from slamming each other through tables during pregames to psych each other out. Because. WWE style. Because the WWE is more entertaining than the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> That's what it is. Let's slam each other through tables. Setting the tables on fire, slamming people through. Because them. it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> because it's cold. I mean, when we get, if we uh, talk about the experience of being a Buffalo Bills fan, and, and you know, let me not, I, I don't want to, you know, downplay it. They have. A great fan base and a very loyal, loyal um, fan base as well. Because I mean, buff to come out in, in Buffalo, uh, d- damn near Canada. Yes. that's dedication, you know. And they come out and a lot of them don't wear shirts. No, you know what I'm saying. Like you can compare them to the same experience as like the Chicago Bears and Green Packers because it's really, really, really cold. But they be packed. No matter how good or how bad yeah, the you know. the Bills do, even but especially during that four that four year stretch where they looking like where they really look like the best team, um, coming in in and out the AFC, going to the championship year after year. Those fans are very 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 dedicated. But Byron, that's goofy, man. Because that couldn't have been me. <laughs> couldn't have been me, man. I ain't got no more dedication in me. I ain't no, got no. I ain't got a dedicated bone in my body when it comes to seeing my team play. And for all y'all that don't know, I'm a Washington Redskins fan. I'm a D I'm a D, D I'm a DC guy, but I don't do no. Especially no. considering you got there four straight times, you ain't bringing one. That's tough. That's tough. It's 0 for four. That's tough. And most importantly, that's tiring. To do that year after year after year. I mean, you playing all these extra games. Right. You that that's that's like that's 18, 19 games a season, mm-hmm. and for you to just keep coming. Ugh, that's should, tough. should they be the only team playing in New York? <laughs> Home games. <laughs> they can have it. They can have the goofiness. Should we just I, move them to Canada? Then? I think. I, hey, listen, that may not be a bad idea. Toronto, maybe. Because I tell you one thing, them fans will follow. Yes. And I think I think Jersey does well for the Jets and the Giants. So the, um, the Giants don't look to to move it to New York. And it's like like I said, it's not even in New York, New York. Mm-hmm. It's in upstate, upstate. New York. Canada almost. Canada. Canada. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. So I think I you know what? They may even have a couple can a couple Canadian fans. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing it's right along the way. But you know. Alright, now let us know. What makes the Bills goofy? And I'm going to ask you, Cremonte, and let us know your thoughts. Do the Bills ever get back to a Super Bowl? Not necessarily win one. Do they ever get back to one? We're in 2018, so the last time they were in a Super Bowl was, what, 93? God, so we're what? How do you? Over? How do you? <laughs> They're older than me as far as their relevance. But so do they get back to one? Nah. We're in twenty plus years now. I mean, in a lot, in if you're talking about a lifetime, like what, ever, 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 I can't say ever, 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 but it'll be this no time soon. Yeah. Because I mean, the guys up top. Not, not I'm not gonna say the guys up top. The they they need to get back to having that that coaching staff. Yeah. They, they, they 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 their coaches have been you know goofy and underachievers. Speaking of Goofy, they even had a player quit this year. Is it that bad? Is it that cold? Vontae, and it, and, it, and it hurts because Vontae Davis, cornerback, he's from, he's from D.C. Is that what you guys did on it? <laughs> I set that up. I set that up, which is very, very Goofy. He, he made, he definitely made, you know, Goofy. He definitely made one of my Goofies of the week. But Vontae Davis, listen, listen baby, listen. 
I didn't think it was ever that bad. Because I thought at the end of the day, you still got a paycheck. But you quit and ain't tell nobody? You left at halftime? Didn't even take a shower. He didn't even take a shower. He probably just put the same clothes he, he had on when he got there. And was like, yeah, I'm out. Like, how how do you bring yourself to do that? I And I felt like that's a disservice. That's a disservice to the Buffalo Bills franchise. They will always be known. <laughs> well, God, a guy that quit. Monte Davis and the Buffalo Bills will always be known for those that that one thing. That one thing you're not supposed to do. At least wait till the game's over. At least wait till the game's over. And now it's your retirement. You know what? I rethought it. I'm not feeling well. Family. Family is a good reason to retire, by all means. But quitting at halftime. And on top of that, you ain't tell nobody. No. I mean, I don't know who that says more to. Is it Vontae Davis or is it the Buffalo Bills? But I know one thing. It's goofy. It's goofy. All <laughs> However you slice it, it's goofy one way or another. Any Bills fans tuning in, tell us why you're a Bills fan. And are you willing to wait for that another Super Bowl appearance? How long will it take? Does the team really make you want to quit that bad? And why are you guys so loyal? Let us know. Hashtag Goofy Central. Now, speaking of one franchise with players in the cold, to other cold weather venues, the cold weather experience. Sure. What does that mean to you, I guess, in, as it pertains to stadiums now? Because we see a lot of newer stadiums that are... I guess dome, retractable roof, sure. climate control setting. Climate control. Um, I think I think that's the big thing because with the evolution of technology and all that, we see things like dome, like you said, domes and cli- climate control. But if we take it back to when football was first started, everybody was outside. Yes. Like that's how the game was played, and that's how the game was watched. I mean, and fans come out for their football mm-hmm. back when it was. Called like the pigskin, and they didn't have real helmets. Like they was out there killing themselves right. for this game. It was great for them, and the guys obviously didn't have the proper <laughs> equipment to be playing in those type of conditions because you know when it's cold outside, things hurt just a little, hurt just a little bit more, a lot more. And when we go to places like Green Bay, I we see won't. we see the guy we see the guys with the cheese heads, the fat guys with the belly out, the beer. I mean. I'm talking like their beer is cold the whole game. <laughs> you hear me? Like the cold, their beer is cold the whole game. It doesn't matter, and it's the, and they, they have the same two beers they've had since the beginning. Because their hands probably stuck. Because their down. hands are cold. Like, <laughs> cold my beer. And um, the Bears same way. Soldier Phil, because you gotta be a soldier to be a fan. That's of an that. appropriate name. That's a very appropriate. And listen, like I said before, it ain't me. When that wind start blowing? Nah, man. Nah, man. Windy City. They Windy City. Nah, they wind chill stupid. You got me. I can't. No, absolutely not. I, I, don't get me wrong. I hear the experience is great. You hear me when I say when I say I hear the experience is great. Going out there. Cause I look at it on TV and be like, man, it look cold out there. Mm-hmm. And you know what I can tell the referees. <laughs> and when the referees, uh, when the referees do their their call, like whatever flag, whatever the reason for the flag, all I see is smoke. <laughs> all I see is air. All I see is that mm-hmm. it is 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 real, real, real cold. Let us know cold weather experience stadiums. Foxborough. That's one that's always we see every January it seems like. Snow, think about the game, the Tuck Rule game in oh, two thousand one against Oakland. Yep. And that was um <laughs> Couldn't see was, the lines on the field. That yeah, right, right. So how do you place the ball and how do you do, you know, the chain the chain game's a little confused. Um how 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 do you do these things? Now you, now it was fun. To watch, yes, I, I I couldn't imagine because everybody was at the age of their cold, very very cold and bitter seats. Um, I, I don't have any um <laughs> information on how the seats are in Foxborough, but when a team is as good as the Patriots, I don't think it would matter. Right. But to the um to the back back to the cold experience, when your team is winning, it's better. It warms you up a little bit more. It warm it warms you up. Good play on words. It warms you up a little better. But if we talk about like the Buffalo Bills, it's like. Now, they had a game last year, I think, against the Colts in the snow, making snow angels, fans throwing snow in the air, snowball fight. Looked like it was a fun time, but probably was cold as crap. Oh, it was, it was freezing. It was freezing. Wind chill, what, negative three? I can't. Absolutely, I, 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 absolutely not. But that's dedication. Yes. That's their fans. Like I said, that fan base is very, very, very dedicated. I mean, they're having fun. It's like they're at home. That, that, that that's, just, that's just another home. But... 
I tell you that it ain't for me. Uh, in Minnesota before they got their me. new dome when they were outside at University of Minnesota. Absolutely. And they had a couple games in the snow, a couple win games, a couple missed kicks, a lot of other things happened. Yeah, yeah. Very, very goofy. I, I, I wonder how much did the University of Minnesota get paid for these, <laughs> for, for, for these, for housing an Good NFL point. team? I, I, I wonder. There's something, something maybe, maybe we should look up, guys. Maybe maybe you guys let can look know. that up. Let let us know. Well, obviously not enough because they still suck. But anyway, because <laughs> still I, you like Minnesota got a football team. What? Oh no, they got basketball, hockey. No, they go for hockey. No, not okay. not the University of Minnesota. Absolutely, absolutely not. Are they in the what? Are they in the Big Ten? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. No, Big Twelve. I don't know. I don't know. Let us know, what University of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Please help us out, man. Nonetheless, very very cool. Any other stadiums jump out to you as far as cold weather? Maybe Kansas City? Um, yeah, yeah, that, that 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 could be one. Not not nearly as cold because they're more their region is more of a, a Midwest, but they're a little, little a little more southern than that. But one I will I will throw out there, Seattle. Okay. Seattle with a mixture of rain and a mixture of cold and it's a twelfth man. Like how their sound is set up, they break they they they, they break the sound meter Almost every home game, especially when they were dominating, mm-hmm. like I mean, one of the greatest defenses of our generation. Uh, our ge- uh, generation, I mean, 2013, and they killed the um, Broncos, which was another cold weather in Jersey, oh, which <laughs> which brings an- another one. But you know, it's generally around this time. I probably say after week after week five six. It starts. It's 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 a little bitter in in um in New Jersey. You said the Broncos. They usually have at least one snow game a year where it's Absolutely. freezing, that altitude, elevation, and mile high. And that's a whole different ball game <laughs> when you're talking about altitude. Listen, man, I tell you, guys didn't know what that word was no. until they went <laughs> until they went to Denver and understood. And understood I can't breathe. Right. Like they can't. Like it's harder. It's harder to breathe. It's harder to play defense. It's harder to run your routes. And I mean, like, get into the third quarter. Because, I mean, warming up, everything seems cool. But as the game progresses, it, get, it gets a little tougher to finish plays, catch the ball, fall. Like, it's, it's, it's hard. Everything's so much harder. But that was always, we go back to advantages that, um, that teams have in cold weather. And that altitude is definitely one because it's hard to play. I mean, every time Tom Brady comes, struggles. He, he struggles. And there's not many places where Tom Brady and New England Patriots go and struggle. Now, does this mean we would get more? Should we get more experiences of big games, Super Bowl, college football playoff, and cold weather? You saw the Super Bowl in New York, New Jersey, but other than that, really nothing else. Mm-hmm. Nah, no, nah, because um, when because the Super Bowl is not just a game, a Super Bowl is a whole event, a whole week long event, and being out in the cold because you know they have you know the interviews, the different press conferences and things. You want fans to be able to come out to that stuff. Mm-hmm. And feel comfortable in the in in doing so. That's why we've only really had one in recent, not just one cold Super because we had many back in the day, but mm-hmm. one recently because it's sexier to have it in Southern California, in Miami, in New Orleans because there's also fun things to do in the general area. Now, what is there? What is there really to do in places like? Um, well, obviously not not New York, but these other cold places like can like Kansas City where you know things things like that where it's in right. the middle of it's, it's, it's in Kansas City right. Buffalo Buffalo will probably never have a Super Bowl no. because one the location it's always cold like I I, I don't know Cleveland another cold Cincinnati weather. like I, I I don't think those aren't sexy places to go right. all the lit places are either down or either out west mm-hmm. or down south. And like I said, those are, there's already lit places to go in general, not just a sporting event. But if you bring a sporting event, that's like, that's double. Right. Well, let us know your favorite cold weather experience. And should it be more cold weather games? Absolutely not. No Absolutely more, not. Get rid of the, no more, Absolutely not. Want, want I to love, listen, I love the technology and we'll get into it. Uh, we'll get into it a little bit later, but I love what these uh, NFL stadiums are really doing. Shutting, shutting down. The, I wish the Redskins would hop on since they ain't got no advantages anyway. I think they might hop on board. Oh, that messed up field. Oh, that messed up y'all players too, though. Nah, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you no more. I mean, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And they want a new stadium. And they just had. <laughs> I feel like they just built this one. Nah, I'm just saying. Nah, 
I mean, you do. I feel like to get a new stadium, um, one of two things have to happen. Either you need to have like a high taxed uh, uh, state, or you're winning. Okay, that's fair. I, it, it, well, well, one of two things has to happen. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of cold weather this time of year, December. You get more going into the playoff football. You know, the snow starts coming in certain areas. The wind starts blowing. I mean, you see the breath out of the players' mouth. It's different, and and you know, one one game in particular I always go back to is the Detroit Lions and was it the Lions and the no, it was the Eagles. Was it the Eagles and the Lions? Where Sean, Sean McCoy was running wild and it was snowing like crazy. I think that okay. was I think okay. that was Detroit. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure where. I think it was in Detroit. Hmm. Was it Detroit? Or was it? It might it might have been in Philadelphia. Might have I, not if it's, Philadelphia right. sounds better now that I think about it. I it, not it's not for me. It looks good. It looks good to watch on TV and my warm, comfy couch. But yeah, you ain't, you ain't gonna catch me at one of them games Another unless game. unless it's a Super Bowl and I want free tickets. And Boom! Uh, send free stuff. The Vikings Ravens game here a couple years back with all that snow. Nope. Crazy freezing. finish. Nope. It's ridiculous. Nope. It, the, the game was great, great but game. I watched it from home. As did I. <laughs> not league. absolutely not. Even if the tickets were free, I would contemplate. I I don't know. <laughs> I, I, outside of like I said, outside of going to the Super Bowl. Mm. Well, let us know. Hashtag Goofy Central. It's not for me. Cold weather experience. What you think about it? What's your favorite cold weather experience? It's not for me. We're going to take a break. It's not for him. But what is for him is more goofiness after the break. And for you as well, we'll be right back. Goofy Central. Yo, Karan, say you see anything yet? Nope. Still looking. Man, we've been telling people to send emails to theflexzone at gmail.com for years. No luck. <laughs> it's like they don't care. Clearly they don't, so we're going to scrap that. Hit us up. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course YouTube. Let us know what you think. And we also have Topic Tuesday too. They're not doing that either. But this is your show, folks. Just as much as it is ours. Because we're the only place that's giving you your sports how you want it. When you need it. I'm going to go find an email somewhere. Topic Tuesdays. Wait, did you just leave? Hopefully you are too, because if not, we'll find you and throw some Uno cards at you, or at least he will. Got a lot. What? It's more than 52 cards than Uno, right? It's more than 52 cards that I keep trying to tell Trent. So it's a 52 Fun pickup. Fun fact. It's not 52 pickup. It's like 110 cards in Uno. A lot of cards. Goofy. Speaking of pickup, some uh, franchise I may need to pick it up and okay. maybe epitomize is kind of what you say, thin line between Goofy and Great. Maybe they're on the mediocre side. Yellow card may be coming soon. Dallas okay. Cowboys, team you familiar with? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I am I am quite familiar with being a Redskins fan. That's one of our, uh, well, our in, uh, individual rivalry. Um, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. I mean, if you want to talk about mediocre, I mean, goofiness, 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 on top of goofiness. And, you know, I think Steve Nate Smith said it the best. An accident waiting to happen. Now they weren't always more accident waiting to happen. No. They It's only recently. Right. But yeah. by recently I mean the last twenty five years. <laughs> I was gonna say those first before the twenty five years of what? Mediocrity, no championships. It was greatness. They are tied for the most Super Bowls with five. In the 60s and 70s, they were kind of coined America's team with the star on the helmet and the uniform and just kind of being a four franchise with their owner, Jerry Jones, who pretty much got the team for nothing when you think about it. Mm -hmm. And now he's one of the greatest owners in sports, knows how to make money. And that's for one thing Jerry Jones does know how to do very, very well. He's in, he's in the oil and he's in real estate as well. All the great Hall of Famers, we can go on for days, Stallback, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin. Uh, just to say, amongst many, sure. Call Hall of Fame coaches Jimmy Johnson. Sheesh. <laughs> Where'd it go wrong? Um. Well, wow. I, I, you know, I love going to the origin of this. I think the Dallas Cowboys went wrong with Jerry Jones firing Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson was a hot shot coach. Mm -hmm. It came from college. Implemented a bunch of new things, a, a new, new ways to do things, and he was very, very successful. But <laughs> he took all the shine. Right. Jimmy Johnson was the guy. He was the one. How about them Cowboys? That was Jimmy Johnson. Right. 
That that's that, that was his thing. He get all the shine. He get all the glory. He uh, all these new players. They love him. Who's not getting any love? The big boy up top. Jerry Jones. He, he he's not getting any love. He's like, man. Well, yeah yeah. He's successful, but this is my team. I signed checks. This is my this is my thing. I sign all y'all checks. Right. All the money comes from me me me. You know what? I don't care if you just won the Super Bowl. You are taking too much of my shine. You got to go. I'm going to be goofy <laughs> and fire you. Because I feel like the next guy could do it with your guys. Mm-hmm. And he was partially right. But it didn't last long at all. Because, I mean, that's what happens when you have a coach that's well connected with his players. Innovative. And brings, and brings new things to the game of football and how it's played along with some Hall of Fame players, you have a recipe for success. But when you got shady guys up top that want the fame and all the glory for all for themselves and not worried about the actual gameplay on the field, which I think is goofy because that's what football <laughs> is about. It's about wins. I think I think that's goofy. Because Jerry Jones said, you know what? No, I don't care. It's, it's, it's my show. It's the Jerry Jones show. Well, hashtag Goofy Central. Let us know why the Cowboys are goofy, which... Kind of goes over their history, but leads us into our next question. The overall evolution of stadiums and fan experience. And I guess we do have to kind of give Jerry credit for being the catalyst of this new wave of stadiums. Because back in May 27th of 2009, the Billion Dollar Play Place opened up. The one and only Jerry World. It, it, in Arlington, not Dallas, by the way. Right, right. <laughs> um, I think, well, well like, like we said before. Jerry Jones knows how to make money. <laughs> That's one thing he knows how to do very well. Does he win football games? No, not so much. But the game of being an owner of uh, being the owner of NFL team is not just about the gameplay on the field. It's what's around it. Location, location, location is very important. You see, he's in Arlington, not in Dallas. Um, called a a, a playpen. It's like a mall in there. I was just saying, like, <laughs> name everything you can do. In there. It's, 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 you can do a lot, a lot in there. They, they even have packages. My, my, my mother is, um, is a Dallas Cowboy fan. How's that work out? Uh, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it just doesn't. But my aunt, her sister, is a Redskins fan. So they actually bought a package to go to, uh, the billion dollar playpen and tour the stadium. No, no, go in the locker. Game. Go in the locker rooms. Shop. Smell the sweaty towels. So, uh, uh, <laughs> what? It was fresh then. Is that any sweaty? Then no. This is before. Oh, this is before okay. the day they get there. The day before. Okay. They get there on Saturday. Do all the tours. Um, shop. Look in the lo- go in the locker rooms. Even go into the field. And then on Sunday they get to experience all of what they have to offer. But <laughs> when with with makes. This goofy is that Jerry Jones one fired Jimmy Johnson and two called himself the GM. Now the fan experience aspect you touched on it. They have a lot of new things that they implemented. The fan experience where you get to come in, pay money, but you don't get to see the game. But you get to stand in the standing area, area. and they it's a standing they, area. They slap your hand, give you a high five before they come out to the game and go back in the locker room and, that's it. and at the end of the game. But you can't see the game. You just kind of in an obstructive view. I, I, <laughs> but it's like a hundred dollars or something. I, I, they call it the standing room area, and I think it's another standing area higher up where it's like a balcony. I feel like they're like on each corner of, even though it's not really shaped in a corner, but like on the four different parts of the stadium, they have a standing mm-hmm. room area. Can fit over a hundred thousand people, by the way. But <laughs> it's a standing room. Come on, would you pay for that? Absolutely not. Listen, man, you are, I already told you how I feel about the cold weather stuff. Now, you're telling me I got to come to the stadium and I'm, you want me to enjoy this game and my legs got to hurt? You Standing for you're three tripping. So you're you don't tripping. Be with you're all tripping. the fans in the middle of all the great, exciting moments, drinking, paying $13. Who is he trying to convince? Beer? Who is he trying to convince? My mind is made up. 
You're not about to have it. Is anything complimentary? Or do they bring you anything? Or are you just that's there? Not included, I, oh, that's not included. Yeah, that means you I'm, make it a I'm not included. High five from Dak Prescott or Zeke Elliott. I'm I'm not included. How about that? Maybe Zeke will pull down your shirt a little bit. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely not. No, absolutely not. No, no, no. You you could never. If anything, I would do what my mother and aunt did and do the whole do that experience of everything. They have a club. They do have a Jerry Jones. You <laughs> you something, man. You got a club and a joke. And then and then and this is what I've what I I never saw before, or maybe maybe I just missed it. Maybe I just you let me know. He hosted the NCAA. The permanent home of the Cotton Bowl now, too. I mean, but a basketball game. Final Four. <laughs> That's what I mean. He hosted a basketball game. I said... NBA All-Star game in 2010. I, what? This is a football stadium. And you have... And you... With the technology and the adjustments that you can make, you can turn this into a basketball arena? Boxing matches. I think that's amazing. And let's not forget the crown jewel of this place. The eye in the sky. I mean, listen. That Jumbotron. Do you have to watch the game or you just stand up there? No, nah, this is all we do. This is it. I think this is this is one of the things where, you know, this was the, the Jumbotron is like football's answer to the home experience. But I'm like. Would that bring you out? You left home. I can't get no better home experience than at home. But you don't have the eye in the sky. I mean, yeah, my TV not that big. Your neck won't have a crook in it for three days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks beautiful. It looks great. And I would like to experience, experience it once. But I need more than just the crook in the neck, man. Let us know. Tell Ramonte is it worth it to go to the billion dollar play place I mean, and convince, see convince the Cowboys, me. maybe Cowboys Redskins, maybe before it's all said and done. Now this takes us to some other stadiums who have kind of followed this mold. Okay. Newer stadium opened last year. Probably was built in, seemed like, what they say, Rome was built in a day. This was probably built in a couple months. The Mercedes Benz Dome in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, well, once again, Evolution of Stadiums, it looks great. But what I'm hearing, and I've had a couple, uh, a couple of guys that um, have have experienced the Atlanta, the Atlanta stadium, um, it's not great seating. And I feel like so hold up, I'm gonna pay a couple hundred dollars, and I can't even have a comfortable seat. That's what, that's what I'm saying. My butt gonna hurt midway through the saying. first quarter. That's what I'm saying. Like it's either like okay, so it's either your butt's gonna hurt or your legs gonna hurt. I don't come to I don't come to a football game to feel to feel like a football player. That's not that's not what I came here for. At least they get heated seats and things, right? I was like, what? Heated seats? Oh, you're asking for a lot. You're no, asking boys. for a whole lot. No, no, no. You're asking for a whole lot. Listen, you sit here and you enjoy the scenery. Well, apparently, speaking uh, of Atlanta, they have a outside area where you can watch all the other games and have that fan experience without being at the heart. Uncomfortable seats. Once again, that's lit and that's beautiful. But ain't no better home experience than me being at home, man. So you telling me you don't want to drive down to downtown Atlanta, oh, see all the convince? sites, pay to twenty to thirty dollars for parking, still walk another twenty to thirty minutes, go up an escalator, four escalators, sit in your seat. Matter of fact, sit in the wrong seat because you don't know where you're going. Then the usher has to tell you you're in the wrong seat, and then move to another seat, and then be uncomfortable. But then decide you got to go to the bathroom, and then you decide you're hungry, and then the food's overpriced. And the Bears, not $13, but $20 now because the new stadium. First of all, the beer not even going to be cold but for seven minutes. You tell me I got down this bit? Come on, man. And it's goofy. we stopped selling beer at the end of the third quarter. Because <laughs> you got to make it home. Because you got to make it home. You got to drink responsibly. This is goofy. Everything you just went through is goofy. Everything about it. I mean, the driving. First of all, you want me to drive down. In Atlanta, by the way. You want, you Traffic's want, probably not that great. Traffic is terrible. <laughs> terrible. Charles Barkley, terrible. That's how... Look, come on, man. That's not That's not good. The scenery is great. Like I said... They have a I, big jumbotron. If I can see how good it looks on my TV, I think that's good enough for me. Because, I mean, you're telling me... They're, they're overlooking a lot of basic things. Like the seats. Mm-hmm. I need my butt to be comfortable. That's what I would like. I feel like if I'm sitting and I'm enjoying and enjoying a show at your venue, I need to be comfortable. 
I can't have I can't be leaving I can't be leaving your venue and I got a I got a strained quad. Like I can't <laughs> I can't do that. No, that's that's not fun. I don't I don't want to leave the football arena with football injuries. I didn't play. So was this, I paid money. I didn't get paid to do this. Want, this is the evolution of stadiums from Monte. They want you there. They're trying to get you there. And you know what? Send free tickets. Atlanta. <laughs> they're home to a lot of great things. A lot of goofiness too. Great strip clubs. Yeah. Some great food. Yeah. Coca Cola. Yeah. And Chick Fil A. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know that football games are usually on what day? Sunday. And Chick Fil A is not open on what day? <laughs> not never open on Sunday. And Atlanta Stadium has what inside of it? A Chick Fil A. And most of the Falcons games are what on Sunday? Okay, we'll just leave this here, people. That was for show. They said so they would build it. it they just built it there for show. Like I said once again, they don't care about the basic needs. Chick Fil A is delicious on any day of the week. Why would you put it there on a Sunday? And why are we doing this? Why would you even do that to me? You playing with the fan. Yeah, and they probably had the nerve to have it lit up too. They probably have the nerve to have it lit up. The Chick-fil-A sign lit up. No, like, damn well they don't work on no Sunday, man. Once again, no. it looks good. It looks good. But you're not giving me my bare minimum. I need the bare minimum, man. I need the fundamentals. So speaking of bare minimum, apparently we have some stadiums in the works. LA and what, Carson, California, and I'll group this with this as well. Vegas with the what is it? Vegas Raiders, Las Vegas Ra- Raiders, Vegas Raiders, Los, Los Vegas. Angeles, Las Vegas, Oakland. I don't <laughs> it's know. Just Raiders. It all together. We no. don't know. So they apparently broken ground on this LA stadium. Will it be done anytime soon? And what are you looking for in a new stadium? Listen, man. And maybe even the Vegas stadium as well. Listen, man. This is what I want in a stadium. Okay, I want the basics. Give me the basics first. Okay, I love the lavishness, the lavish TV, um, the lavish, um, the food, the, the the food selection, whatever. I I I want all those things. I like all those things. I want to be able to see the field, and yet when it's a replay time, I can get a closer look. I I like that. But can I have comfortable seats? Break break ground with that. Give me the mo- the stadium's most comfortable seats. Sport event with the most comfortable seats. Give me that. You can get comfortable seats. You just gotta pay nine hundred dollars. You know I get comfortable see that. You know I get comfortable see that. And the suite with the glass. Listen, listen now. No, we ain't talking. You know I get comfortable see that. My house. Okay, my house. That's what comfortable seat is. So you don't want to pay a couple of extra hundred dollars. A couple to extra hundred. Have the chef bring out the food that the other people don't oh, have. Oh, it's great on somebody else's job. To not be able to sit. And stand at a table like send you're in the market and not be able to sit down send, and then your legs still t- be hurting. <laughs> send, me t- send me free tickets. I go. Let me be a critic. Okay. Let me be a critic for these, for these stadiums and these, and these different. These watered venues. down drinks. Crown Royal. Give me. Uh, you better not water down my Crown Royal. You it's, tripping. It's Coca-Cola. You're going off the deep end. Coca-Cola. You better not. You, you better not. Coca-Cola with extra sugar and vanilla extract. <laughs> listen. Listen. Send free tickets. I'll go. Let me. Let me. I need to be a critic for these venues. Let me be a critic for not just NFL venues, for all venues. Now, when is these stadiums going to open? Um, because taxpayers are just paying their money. Then listen, you got to pay to go to the game. 20, what would bring you out to to something like this? Send free tickets. That's that's the biggest thing that's gonna get me out. Send me free tickets. Otherwise, the chance of me going on my own is slim to none. Gosh. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm trying to think what, what's gonna bring me out. Maybe if they, they, they there's been musical performances. Um, don't have so maybe you give me a concert game duo maybe. But not charge me more for it? Well, first of all, the NFL ain't going to do that. They gave you Maroon 5 when the Super Bowl was in Atlanta. Don't get me started. I, listen, I, I I don't know. Maybe I'll know it when I see it. But but for one thing, I need the bare minimums. I need that seat to be comfortable. Let us know what you think, all of you Goofy Central viewers out there. What is the fan experience like now? What are some of your favorite stadiums? Because we've come from where stadiums were just, what, Memorial Stadium here in Baltimore was probably not the biggest stadium. Now... You have the m and Bank. Yep. And then you have, what, Texas Stadium. Now you have Jerry World. Yep. So, the Chargers, they play in a soccer stadium that holds probably a soccer team, soccer mom, probably about 14 people. Listen. They don't, they the don't, other team. They don't do that team right. 
That's that's messed up. That that's messed up what they doing. They what they're really doing to the Chargers. That's messed up. The Chargers don't deserve that. I think I think San Diego deserves their team back. I still I still call them San Diego Chargers, man. It, LA, just saying, LA at least the, with the Rams, they were once in LA. And they get the Coliseum, which is a and they get the Col- eighty thousand people. I think. I'm saying the Coliseum. That's a, that's a throwback. That's history. Mm-hmm. You telling me you putting San Diego in LA first? Why are there two teams in LA? I, I I'm just saying these are some things that I need answered. Um, and another thing, I need my leg room, man. This is next one. I need my seats to be comfortable, and I want my leg room. I want it to almost like a movie theater setup. So you want because you're gonna give me you gonna give me the jumbotron. You give me the jump, if you give me the jumbotron, have me lean back. Don't have my crook in my neck. So you want them to bring the food to you as well. Hey, listen. Pick you up and carry. You, you want me to come out. You want me to come out. That's what I need. Well, you heard the man. Send free tickets. Oh yeah, by, by all means, you send free tickets. I'll I critique I critique the venue. I'll gladly. Hashtag Goofy Central. Let us know what you think of the NFL stadiums and the fan experience in these new stadiums and what you think you would like to see in these new LA, Las Vegas stadiums and anyone else who gets a team. But I think we come to the end. How can they keep up with us? Uh, well, at the Flex on One, Twitter, at the Flex on One, Instagram, the Flex Zone on Facebook, and me personally, Crevante Heard. Fle- um, I was about to say Crevante Heard on, Flex, on the Flex Zone. Duh. Crevante Heard, Facebook. Um, Twitter and Kravante underscore her on Instagram at BKD underscore TV and more importantly subscribe to the YouTube page not the first one the only one YouTube.com slash the flex zone one and don't be goofy if you don't subscribe because we'll find you and we'll take your cheap seats because I'll be out there with you drinking that overpriced beer and eating that cold hot dogs and the nachos with the what is it sprinkled cheese on them not even the real cheese and the pickles instead of the jalapeno peppers you got the green card up Cause I, cause I, I, I don't know at this point. And the flat like, soda, I won't be there. The soda that just says he'll, pop, he'll be there. I will not be there. The soda that just says pop, I would carbonated. I would not be there. You said, you said, send, send, send me free tickets. I'll be there. But send otherwise, if I got paid for it, I won't be there. That's Goofy Central. We'll see you next time. And as always, Cavante, there's a thin line between Goofy and Great. <laughs> and these stadiums are on, on the, the wrong, wrong end of them. <laughs> <sighs>